Yo, yo, boys and girls, it's your boy Dan here, back with another video for the channel. Hope you're all having a great day, whenever you watch this, whether it be a Tuesday, a Saturday, a Friday. I know that's not in order, but I hope you're enjoying the video. And before we even get into this video, boys and girls, what a last weekend we had. Yes, the result was rubbish. Yes, the chairman's acts were rubbish. But for the channel, personally... Oh my god. I asked for 11 new subscribers to reach 500. We have only gone and smashed that. 563 subscribers. Now, bloody hell, boys. You've almost, like, I don't know how many times you've beaten Mark. Like, seven times? Well, I, I am so grateful for you lot. And I'm hoping to push on the 600 now. Let's go, boys, for the big push. So once again, thank you all. But we're on to this week and now. Southend at home versus Chesterfield. And what a Tuesday night Blues had. I was unable to make it as I was ill on the Tuesday night. It was my birthday on the Monday and on the Tuesday. Nah, that was me out the game. Just felt so horribly ill. I still feel a little bit now, but, you know, I'm better enough. I feel I'm better enough to attend today. But Southend on Tuesday. Bloody hell, we won 1-0 against Eastleigh. Mad and Akinola started. Christ, the world must be coming to an end. Akinola starting under the Phil Brown regime. Jesus Christ. But no, also with Chesterfield on Tuesday, they drew with Wrexham, as Blues have already done this season, but Chesterfield, oh, if they win today, they could go up to second place in the table. They are looking to go straight up this season, no messing about. Whilst Blues down in 18th, a win today could push them up to 13th, but bloody hell, it is really two opposite ends of the table today. Blues needing the points majorly, Chesterfield needing the points majorly. As for the team news, I'd like to see it sort of retained against Eastleigh. I'd drop, is it Carabao or Hamza Carabao, the striker, and put Murphy or Dolby. In. I'd start Akinola and use the other, either De, yeah, Dolby or Murphy, to come on later in the game. But I'm hoping today we can just sneak a 1 0 win again, or maybe even a 2 1 win. We need the points badly, boys. We do, as do Chesterfield. It's going to be an exciting game. Let's get into it today. Come on, you blues. So, we've just been given this lovely little red card by SOS South End, and bloody hell, it's happening. On the 19th minute of the game, these will be held up around the so in support of Ron Martin now. Let's go, boys. <laughs>
Green, man. Clean it up and find the company of Gordon Brown. You're the big doggy DJ now, boy. Right all half time in a room so two nil down and said that is so so dire again it's week after week after week i keep thinking to myself each week it can't get any worse and it does and we're at album as well which makes it even worse to watch i just spoke to a fan who i've sat next to for a couple of years with my season card and he said it's not martin's fault it's brown we should be looking at brown he's the one that should be motivating these players should be getting them into the game and clearly he's not we had a good opening i say what 15 minutes then as soon as they scored we dropped straight away haven't got back into the game the protest was good i thought the goal was really awkward timing for it but hey it kind of infused it and fired it up a bit more at the same time but back to the game so yeah i'm begging murphy and Dolby come on early hamzad has not done much he's won the occasional head and that's it the online sign for Sunderland, you know what, I'll give him some credit, he's been going down the line trying to make something happen, but he just lacks that final quality in that final third. The defence, yeah, the defence, he just can't say, it's just the same as every other week now, players just not up for it, not fighting for it. You could blame Martin, you can blame Brown, but today this sits firmly on Brown, that first half, that is firmly down to him. I'm hoping we see some early times, I'm hoping we get an early goal and get back into this game, otherwise it's going to be a long old bloody weekend again, going back to work and feeling all that oh your team lost again yeah love it let's go boys
This is where I must leave. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> right, oh, that was fun, wasn't it? Well, I'm not talking about the game, though. I'm talking about the protests a bit more, though. 4 0 loss, yep. It's hard to say how I feel because I'm so used to it now. So disappointed to watch. No mad, the match is for me. No standout. Brown's game, all wrong. If he's not gone either by the church game or after, we're done, finished. We are in the bottom two of the National League now, going down to the south. And there is only one man you can look at for this now. It's Ron Martin. It's the top of the club. It's the poison that has led down through the manage, well, from the chairman to the manager, to the senior star, to the directors of football, the CEO, the man, then the manager, sorry, and the players on the field. Yes, you, you could also say Brown controls the squad. It's entirely down to him. And yes, I agree. Brown does control the squad, and today, all wrong for like how many weeks have we said that now he's got it wrong, and yeah, he's still in charge, and Ron Martin won't make the call to get rid of him, yet we're in the bottom two, and we have the top, what is it, five budget, I'd say at least, in the league, I'll double check that fact, but... Jesus Christ, we are so shy. It's so hard to watch. Fair play, Chesterfield. Amazing squad. Thank you as well. And I'll speak for a lot of South fans. Thank you for helping us join in with the protest and even holding the Martin Out banner up. You lot are class. I've got to say that. But that is going to wrap up another video until next week. Like it was said in the protest, these protests are going to happen every week until something happens. Stan Collymore has put on Twitter just now that he's going to host a Zoom call for Shrimpers tonight to listen to. Now, whether this is something we're all going to love to hear or not will remain to be seen. If you are a Shrimpers fan, obviously you'll not be able to see what I've said in time till after the video's released, which will probably be later tonight. And by then, the Zoom meeting would have happened. But if there's any way you can, I'm sure it will be recorded or something. Watch the meeting. Give your thoughts down below. Give your thoughts on the protest. Give it all as a South fan, even as a Chesterfield fan today. Get your thoughts in down below. Anyway, I've got to head home now. Lovely journey home for me. My name's been Divesty. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you like comment subscribe the big free on the push to 700 now let's go and peace